Hey everyone, uh, we're gonna keep going again with costing. We took a little break. I think this is video number 12 in the series. We still have a few things to cover, uh, like standard costing, etc. But what I wanted to go into today is more on the average costing. It's a little nuance that's super important uh, that people understand well. And actually was a comment uh, that was made on the channel. And uh, I'm gonna cover it today. And one of our interns, Alex, actually helped me with this. So thank you, Alex. You're welcome. Um, and now we're going to get into it. Okay, so if we have an item, I actually have the average coffee mug. Uh, and if we have a purchase, I'm going to put the date. So I'll put it as the um, uh, 15th, today's date, purchase of 10 uh, quantity and unit cost, let's say $10, so for 100 total cost. And then we have a sale on the 15th uh, for the same 10, and let's say the price is 50. The price doesn't really matter. So we have here uh, $10 total, $100. Okay, so we sell the 10, which means that right now we're at zero quantity and let's say if on the same day we buy uh so 715 we buy 10 at 20 and so that's 200 and then we sell them again on the same day 10 then um, the unit cost of this sale intuitively would, would be 20 because it zeroes out here. But in actuality, what the system does, it puts it out at 15. Uh, so the, the cost of goods sold, basically, or the cost of this transaction. And this transaction, the cost of it was 10 before. But what it does, it goes in here and fixes that and makes it 15. So within the day, it's averaging all transactions. It doesn't matter whether you go to zero or not. Now, if you go on another day, let's say the day after 16, and you purchase something, let's say 10 for $25, purchase price keeps going up. 250 and you sell it again those 10 the cost of that is 25 so it does zero out for a different day so here you are starting out fresh but if you do it within the day it's averaging it out all of it and fixing the entries so if you get in another purchase, it fixes something that's already posted and applied to and closed. So it's important to understand that within day entries are all being averaged out. Outside of the day, it averages remaining. So let's take a look at that in the system. So let's take a look at the average coffee mug. Um, I go here into navigate history entries, ledger entries. And I've posted everything here, so instead of actually going through the postings, I'm just going to explain what's happening. So you can see here that we have purchases for a hundred, a thousand, another hundred, eleven hundred, and then there are sales, and all the way down to uh, this sale right here, we have zero quantity, so it's flushed out, and then we buy the item at one thousand. Uh, for 10 so a hundred dollars a piece so way more expensive to throw it off and then we sell it again and you can see the cost is definitely not $100 per piece it's actually $14 per piece but all of these other entries here got adjusted so if I click on this sale you can see that there is an adjustment entry to make up for this huge cost or the very expensive coffee marks that I had so now this all happened on the fourth and now if i get into the fifth 
I buy at a thousand and I sell at 1500 cost is a thousand so it's no longer picking this uh, 147 or whatever that was it's clearing it out and starting afresh for the new day so this is a very important fact about how average behaves it averages within the day